Hi everyone, this is Eve and welcome back to Champion Dreams. First to ride, Pippa Funnel, take the reins, or Alexandra Letterman. I don't know the rest rest of the Letterman's title, but yes. We are in the week three. I can't remember if there was like five weeks. But yes. We just we got into trouble while trying to snoop in Q's room. And then we just drained and now we are pretty well much done so we can compete. So I will try to burn these days as fast as I can. And there will probably happen something story-wise. I will go to the library just in case. Uh, we don't need to walk anymore. Let's put bedroom, lounge. And uh, let's put another lounge just, just for funsies. Let's check, was there anything I can read anymore? No, I can't learn half pass and canter. Okay. I already did all of these, right? Oh, that's just that was just new. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. I guess there's nothing else to read. Let's just stop this right there and go to the bedroom. Still a few photos. Okay. Oh, postcard. Third? Oh my god, I've missed some lore. Julie, I can't believe you're in Morocco. You're so lucky. That must that must be so romantic. I liked your email. So how's it going with you and Esteban? Winky face. I guess things are getting spicy um, yeah let's buy some clothes first, maybe mm, I want to see how that looks oh <laughs> sure why not let's buy them all they're only 10 bucks We go. Um, okay, okay. Five popularity. Okay, I will save that for later. Um, let's save these. Mm, that's enough. No, 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 no. I meant to go out. Out of the door. And let's go ask some lore. Esteban, we haven't talked in a bit. One day, just like that, my father announced a terrible piece of news to me. He wanted to sell soap to a rich Texan. How dare you do that, I said to him. Easy, he replied. It's what I've always done. I buy things, I sell them. Things. He was 
talking about soul. Soul, and he used that word. The news made me very angry, and I immediately packed up my bags and left town to join the Sycamore Riding Academy. But my initial refusal dis disqualified me from ever joining. So, how come you're here? I'll explain to you some other time. Okay, uh, we'll come back later today. Sorry about breaking into your room. Can you tell me rest of your story, please? So what? So what was your goal? The one you reached. After days and days of wandering, I finally came across a nomad encampment with just a couple who took me in. Even if we didn't speak the same language, we used all means possible to communicate. Hands, face, drawings in the sand, anything anything to help us get to know each other. They told me their son had died of pneumonia. They told me of their grief. They were so pleased to meet me, and when they saw that I had nowhere to go, they asked me to journey with them. With them, and to adopt me as their daughter. Just like that. I explained my passion and admiration for horses to them. Over the weeks, they could tell that I was trying to prove myself worthy of their way of life. These were people who had lived with horses since a very young age, and, and their knowledge knowledge was extra extraordinary. Hope I pronounced that right. I knew nothing about horses, and I desperately wanted to match their knowledge. I became very competitive. Whenever the opportunity arose, I suggest some sort of race or challenge. Not just with them, also with everybody we met on the plains. It was then that my adopt adoptive parents suggest suggested me something. What was it they suggested? Come back and see, and maybe you'll find out. Mm. Spike. Let's continue where we last ended off. The other reason I took my music lessons seriously was because of my teacher, or rather, because of my teacher's daughter. And Here we go. Me. She was a true angel. Hair as jet as the night sky. Sky and skin as pale as the moon. So Snow White. You mean she was a goth? <laughs> <laughs> or that, I guess. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> if everybody judged books by their cover, we'd only ever read recipe books. Just, be Just because someone's different, it doesn't mean they're wrong. Sorry, just slipped out. I didn't mean it. Do carry on, please. No, he won't. No, sorry. You're going to have to wait until I've chilled out. <sighs> have you chilled out? Okay, I'll let you off this time. <laughs> but don't go starting the judgmental stuff again, okay? Shirley and me, we learned the guitar together, and she had a great voice. Well, and decided to form a group together. But we needed decent musicians. So I asked Shirley to leave the South Coast for London, where my parents now lived. My parents were feeling too guilty to say no after they'd abandoned me at boarding school. But when we got to Lon London, we still couldn't find the right guys. It was like nobody wanted to play in groups anymore like they did in the 80s. Eventually, we found this rock group looking for Guitarists on the... Kensington High Street. Of course, we weren't really playing the music we wanted to play. But all that mattered was that Shirley and me were together. But slowly it dawned on me that Mugg Muggings here was alone in his perspectives. What do you mean? She went off with someone else, I guess? Sorry, Princess. You're going to have to take a ticket and come back sometime. I'm about to divulge delicate inform information about my past. I need time. Esteban. I cried, I cried for having missed such a magnificent opportunity. I returned home to my father, broken. He said he'd have me back as long as I started working for him, which I did for a while. And I even... And I even became a good and buying and selling. But there was something missing. to reopen 
given my candidature and I was finally accepted. That's how I got here. So it wasn't exactly legit? Not exactly, I know. You won't mention it. You won't mention it to others, will you please? Okay, I won't. I'm just happy that you managed to join. Because otherwise I would have never met you. Only goes to show sometimes. Crime does pay. Hmm. Yeah. Sure it does. Godfather, that's scary talk. Uh huh. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. I guess. Your time. This is the really sad part of my story. My pa was ruined, and my ma and him kept shouting at each other. I was a teenager then, and I couldn't stand watching them go at it. One night, I heard them talking about selling Ori Shalka. Ori was my only friend. It was a totally impossible decision. But I ran away with him. I don't know what I was thinking of right then. I couldn't bear the thought that I'd never see him again. I joined up with a traveling circus, and me and Nora Shalcom would perform. To begin with, it was a real crack, but the pressure was huge. Huge, especially on Ori Shalcom? I was missing my family real bad, and one evening, when I least expected it, I was surprised to see my parents in the audience. After the show, we managed to talk. My pa had sorted out his problems, and they... They had gone back to live on a ranch. My ma and pa forgave me and asked me to go back and live with them. I knew I wasn't ready for the circus life, so I followed them. For all the money in the world, if I could remake that choice today, I would have stayed with the circus. It was a tough life, but whoa. You mean things got even worse than they were? Come back and see me and you'll find out. Might as well keep talking to people and do the horse scare at the very last. And I will skip them for you. But yeah, let's just do the lounge for this. I left off with the suggestion my adoptive parents made me. Do you remember? Well, their idea was for me to take part in a race that is held to coincide with the Nadam festival. It's a huge race that dates back to the dawn of time in which every year more than a th thousand riders take part. They thought it was the kind of challenge that could teach me a thing or two. I was totally overexcited about such a huge competition. I set off immediately to join the race. I got there and started competing, running race after race. And I kept winning. All the time, people kept making fun of me, saying I had no business there. But my anger and determination saw me through. I beat them all. My adoptive parents asked me several times if I wanted to stop. But the thrill of victory went to my head and I wanted more and more. I should have listened to them. Instead of listening to my pride. Maybe some other time. Alrighty. There we were all back together again. Pa, Ma and me. And we had a swell time on the new ranch. Orishalka made great progress. And I started... And I started winning my first competitions. It was at that point that the Sycamore Riding Academy contacted me. But just after they did, another disaster happened. The local factory had problems and started spewing poison out into the air. It started affecting the animals and all the horses on the ranch started dying from this kind of foot and mouth disease. Uri Chalcom was the last to go. Aw. R.I.P. I tried everything to lift me back up. The ranch had to 
close again, and this time my folks were ruined. Not knowing what to do, they threw everything they had into sending me here. But your parents are okay these days, aren't they? No, they're totally poor. They live in a trailer and work when they can. They have nothing left in the world. That's why I want to become a champion, so I can help them. That's such a sad story. But you have so much courage. I so hope that you'll make it. Hey, don't look so down. Look on the bright side. I gotta say, though, thanks for listening. All the way through. You did well. You've heard all there is to hear. Thanks for listening to me all the way through. I'm not going to be able to take care of my horse. I have a bad feeling something will happen at the last, last minute. Ay. I haven't got much to add about my past. What comes next? The rest is all about you, you know? Okay. Spike. No! What? Ah! <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> well, let's try this again. Speak. So, what happened next? Keep your hair on, I'm getting there. Shirley and me were chuffed with our new group. The drummer of the group was to shuffle with Shirley. And Shirley was to shuffle with his attentions. She ditched me for the drummer. Yep. Attentions flared. Then the fateful day arrived. I guess she decided to hop on some other guy. Why the serious exp expression all of a sudden? What happened? My princess, I can't tell you straight away. I'll have to come back later. Of course. This is the last part of my story. You remember I was talking about how I kept winning race after race, and how despite the warnings from my adoptive parents, I didn't want to stop. After several hours, I hadn't even noticed that my horse and me were utterly exhausted. I hadn't even noticed that night had fallen, and that fatigue was making me less and less agile. That's when the irreparable happened. Faye hit a stone, and I fell. I was injured, I was forced to abandon, and my epic... And my epic adventure ended there. When I was back on my feet, I asked my adoptive parents what it was that I was supposed to learn from the race. They replied that I was meant to learn the importance of humility. But I had failed. They said a man had asked to see me after the race. It was Harry Temples who'd come to watch the race scouting for young talent. He was impressed by my energy. He told me there was a school where I could learn to channel my hunger for victory and build self-control if that's what I wanted. I had lost my horse. He had to be put down because of the injuries. So I accepted and followed Harry to Scotland. That's how I wound up here. Wow, what a story. Indeed. I may appear proud, but my greatest desire is to find inner peace and humility. I have never told this to a soul, but the reason I keep entering competitions is so that one day I might be beaten. Sometimes losing teaches us more than winning. Right, and you have been doing that to me, at least, so. They are very wise words, Q. It has been a real pleasure listening to you. Esteban really didn't have anything else. No. Okay.
let's see what happens when I go to do the horse care. Ah, I guessed right. Just two more piles of books and we'll have finished tidying the library. I mean, I'll have finished. Hey, there's someone just leaving your horse box. They're running away. Hey, you, stop! They're getting away! They won't get far. Take my word for it. Be careful! Catch that motorbike! Come on! No! I can see you. But did I fail? God, she got away. I looked everywhere, but no sign. But this time it's sure somebody's got it in for me. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but Spike wasn't in his room this evening. I don't mean he's necessarily involved in all this, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe we should watch him more closely. It's true he hasn't been seen around much lately. Hmm, I'm not sure what to think anymore. Q, I want to say how sorry I am. I thought you were behind all the weird stuff that's been happening to me. That's why I searched your bedroom. I was looking for a clue. It's okay. I understand. But you could have just come and talked to me directly. I know. You're right. Please accept my apologies. I accept. I know I'm competitive and a bad loser, but I always have respect for someone who makes an effort. What? Spike isn't here? Soon we are going to be called in for the weekly assessment. What's happened to him? He told me he was going to be early. That's weird. It's not like him at all. Can I have your attention, please? Harry Temple's here. The instruction staff request your presence outside the director's office as soon as possible to assess your progress before the exam tomorrow. You have five minutes and... Another, Another second more. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see how well I will do now that I didn't manage to take care of my horse before the competition. All right, Deborah. Once more into the breach. I've been waiting for this moment for years. The reputation of my academy was dragged through the mud. I intend to do everything to right that wrong. Is that the academy director talking or my ex-wife? I know you never came to terms with my departure huh? for Scotland, but after all these years, are you still so intent on vengeance? I didn't Do you really think that. you're so unforgettable? Tell your little ones to start packing their bags. Their holiday's very nearly over. May the best school win. Ex-wife, huh? Now I want to... Change the saddle. Let's go with that one, yeah. Here is one rider with a very bright future in store. What has in candor? If the instructors are to be believed.
first. Heavens, what a display! Does it say I need to health pass encounter if I don't need it? I don't understand! Um. Spike, come on, once again. That's... that's good. There's no blue on that. But I failed already. <laughs> uh, that is why I try not to talk much. Not concentrating. I can live with four penalty points. Yes, that. Heavens, what a display! Yes, indeed. the mouse. Come on. Spike, well done. You're not the second last. Well, now you are again. Mm -hmm. and the cross, cross country. I don't know why saying cross country is so damn hard for me. Do 
this is way shorter than the practice course, which had 18 jumps, and this only has 13. Well, I'm still watching that stamina bar. I should probably go to walk for a bit. Penalties. And Spike, you're fourth. All in all. No. In this. All in all. I feel you have great potential. You're fourth. If we work together, you could go far. Good job, Spike. Proud of you. You're loving every minute of this, aren't you? Seeing me humiliated again must be so satisfying. Oh, how you are mistaken. It saddens me deeply to see you like this. I don't need your pity. Look at you. Look at how bitter you've become. You've let yourself be eaten away by hatred and resentment. Shut up. <laughs> Once upon a time, you loved riding horses. That's what made you the best. If that woman ever returns, I'd love to meet her again. And you will, one day. It doesn't matter what it takes, but she'll be back. <gasps> will she come? There she comes with the drinks. <laughs> well, these graphics are amazing. Midnight keys? No. Spike. We wait for me. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Can we do some revision together? Funny. I'm the butt of all your jokes, and then when you want good marks, I'm suddenly everybody's best friend. You're wrong. I was just trying to be friends. Obviously, there's no use. Wait, I'm sorry. Please, do sit down. <laughs> mm. Does the flower mean we want to do something? Somewhere with this then? I don't know. Hello? Come on, get going. There's not a minute to lose. The competition has been brought forward a week. Ah. Oh, oh no. Anybody have any vitamin C? And that's that. I will stop this right here. Oh, uh, this episode was quite a lot of listening to the characters yapping. And then just competition. But I guess that's fine. Um, now we are in the fourth week. But yeah, I will stop right here. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!